in Madison, where we always give you more. This is Gifted, Glenn Gilberti. Pretty persuasive talker, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. I'll tell you what, this guy, when he gets the mic in his hand, it's almost hypnotic what he can do to you the know, opposition. I saw the connection with him and D'Lo Brown a couple of weeks ago when he came out apologizing for the problems that uh, Sonny Siaki and D'Lo Brown had recently and mentioned that they had a common friend in Vince Russo. And you could just see at that point that Glenn Gilberti was really working on the mind of D'Lo Brown. I think he referred to the so-called glass ceiling as being a concrete ceiling here in NWA TNA because Jeff Jarrett would not give D'Lo Brown an NWA World's Heavyweight title shot. We saw just exactly how wrong that was this past Wednesday on NWA TNA. Oh, action as Gilberti just sent Scotty Sabre airborne, flying Man, over the top rope, was... crashing down here onto the arena floor right in front of the broadcast. Well, I mean, look at Gilberti. I mean, it's obvious he's in shape. He's got himself absolutely in incredible shape. And, Mike, I think... We gotta see that again. Watch this. That's just flying and then he, unbelievable over the ropes onto the mat. And then if we can follow up back to the live action, Gilberti takes Saber. He first rams him into the steel ring steps and that takes him over to the safety rail. I'll tell you what, if there, if there, there's no mistake in anybody's mind. We all thought the sports entertainment extreme was gonna fold when Vince Russo left. We all thought so. I never thought they could stay together. And out of out of the ashes, this Phoenix rose, buddy. And Gringo Birdie took over and got him back. But Scotty Saber on the comeback trail. Going to go spring. Oh, wow. Right in front of the table here, Mike. Whoa, what elevation by Scotty Saber. Springboard cross body block. Crashing into Gilberti as well as our broadcast table. A little turnabout Woo. spare play right there. I'll tell you what, you know, we, you talked about following Scotty Saber's career. You know, what? Well, great kick there by Saber. Mike, this TNA explosion is the best opportunity you will ever get to show your skills and get on NWA TNA, the actual Wednesday night pay-per-view. And it really is a great stepping stone, right. a great opportunity for the young talent here in the National Wrestling Alliance to prove to the matchmakers of the NWA that they deserve to be on the TNA pay-per-view, and Scotty Saber can do that immediately here with the win. It's what we talked about earlier, and as I've watched his career for the past several years, Gilberti hits that sit-out powerbomb. I just have that feeling that he needs the big victory to gain the confidence, to take it to that next level. Gilberti measures it, drops the elbow across the chest. Lateral press and a two count on Saber. I'll tell you what, that powerbomb that Gilberti did reminded me of the one that he used on AJ Styles to, to slam him into the table to allow Raven to get the victory a couple weeks ago in that contention match. But uh, I'll tell you something. I think it's good for Gilbert to be out here to prove to, to Sports Entertainment Extreme that not only is he the mouthpiece of the group right now, he can also do it in the ring. No question, you can see that he's got his game face on today. A much more serious Glenn Gilberti than we've ever seen. And, and heck, I've watched his career really from the early stages, you know, dating back probably some five, six years ago. Well, you know, even the short time that I've gotten to know him, you know, when he first came here, here, here's a guy that was always cutting up and doing practical jokes, and here the last month or two, all business, totally serious, and he's just focused, Mike. He's just basically he's focused. And I don't think it, there's any coincidence that once he was, uh, shall we say, given the ball to carry for Sports Entertainment Extreme, he not only took it, he rammed it into the end zone for a touchdown. Russian leg sweep by Gil Birdie. Going to follow up that move by heading to the middle rope. Measure Scotty Saber. Went for the knee drop off the middle rope. Saber able to roll out of the way. Don, we need to mention it once again. Oh, yes. World's heavyweight title match, the bout we've been waiting for. D'Lo Brown, Jeff Jarrett. Oh, so much at stake. Yes, the NWA World's heavyweight title is at stake. Saber gets a two count on Gilberti. But also think long term of the impact. Think of the effect that this is going to have on the total picture of the National Wrestling Alliance. If D'Lo Brown wins the title, he must join Sports Entertainment Extreme. And you know that Sex would like nothing more than having that championship belt and all the power that goes with it. Saber missed the moonsault off the top. You're right, though, Mike, but at what cost will that championship belt come? Yes, Entertainment Extreme will have the belt, but what about the jealousies that might ensue within that faction? I mean, we got it. The winner of the match, Gifted, Glenn Gilberti!
think that's almost secondary to sports entertainment extreme. They'll worry about the jealousies that might ensue down the line. For now, they want the title in their camp. David Flair, Lola.